And we begin with new questions following a countersuit filed against the state of Oklahoma by Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen. Those questions involve former Deputy Director of Tourism Gino DeMarco. A news article from local publication The Frontier details DeMarco's dealings in a marina development in Lake Murray State Park while also buying land nearby. News 4's Austin Brissett picks it up from here. Austin. Well, Jolene, Kevin, all those things mentioned were going on. As page 36 in the lawsuit states, DeMarco and other top state employees directed Swadley's on the dredging at Lake Murray. Page 36 from Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen's countersuit of the state shows a text message from former Deputy Director of Tourism Gino DeMarco mentioning dredging at Lake Murray, saying they would, quote, have to get a dredging permit, but it will be easy, and that someone was working on it. This taking place as the state was working with Swadley's to get their restaurants put into state parks, including at Lake Murray. A news article from local publication The Frontier states around this same time, DeMarco, quote, had access to information about a new marina development at Lake Murray State Park that wasn't yet public and participated in talks about the scope of the project while also planning his own nearby business venture. Also, in February of 2020, that same article states DeMarco bought 26 acres of land near Lake Murray State Park for nearly $700,000 to plan a development there. That new marina opened in May of 2021, the same year DeMarco sold the land he bought, and in the Frontier article, DeMarco saying he bought it to, quote, increase the property value by doing development on it. We went to DeMarco's home to try and get clarification on the timeline of the dredging directed by he and other state officials and of the other ventures mentioned by the Frontier. But we received no answer. We also reached out by phone call. Yeah, so just message. Okay. And no answer again. We texted him as well, but have not yet received a response. Well, it should be noted that DeMarco claims to have recused himself from activities dealing with the marina since he bought land near the state park. We also reached out to the tourism department for a timeline of that dredging and its location. They said they are inundated right now with requests, but will process our request as quickly as they can.